guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this week's video, as you can see, we are going to be creating this look. I'm going to be showing you guys how easy it is to play around with latex and achieve something like this with a few little things that you just buy at the store. Very inexpensive, very cool Halloween look. Um, so yeah, for this week's video, we're going to go ahead and um, do this look. It is very time consuming and you have to have a lot of patience. But let's go ahead and get started with the video. I've always been a huge fan of all like the gory looks that you see on Halloween. The ones that look like you have real cuts on your face, on your neck, everywhere. I've always been a huge fan of that. And I never really tried to recreate something like that until last year. Um, when I started working with one of my friends and her mom, um, she's actually really good with all that latex stuff, so I asked her last year for Halloween how she did it, and she explained it, and it was actually really easy. So I actually want to do a video for you guys to show you how to work with latex and get all those little um, gory cuts on your face. I'm going to go ahead and get started. I think I'm going to try to do, maybe I can do one going through my eye. I have a mirror down here, so that's, if I look down, that's why. Um, but first, I want to protect my eyebrows because latex is very sticky. Um, uh, last year, I actually did a whole half of my face. I'll insert a picture here um, with latex, and it was kind of hard to move, and it kind of stuck taking it off because it stuck to my eyebrows a lot. I was kind of scared it was gonna, my eyebrows were gonna come off. So I'm gonna protect them with a band-aid. Go ahead and do that. I'm just going to try to do a slit going like this. I'm going to go in with my latex. And I'm just going to use one of these little like poly brushes to dab it in. And then I'm going to put it on my face. It fell. Just be careful because it gets messy. So after you do that, you grab your tissue, you rip it up in little pieces, and then you bunch it up a little bit, and you put it right on there. And then once it's the tissue sticks on there, you go back with your latex. And you go right over it, get it nice and wet. Now we're gonna go ahead up here and put a little bit of tissue up there. Because it's smaller up here, you wanna go with a smaller piece. Bunch it on there. Doesn't have to be neat because cuts aren't neat. Cuts just get crazy. So then once again, go over our tissue with our latex. And then you're just going to repeat that a couple times. So you let it dry a little bit. I'm gonna let it dry and I'll be right back. Okay, so I actually went and cut the band-aid um, from my, this part of my eyebrow, because if not, it's gonna show, because I'm not gonna cover it with the latex. I'll cover this part, but this part won't be covered, um, and I don't want it to show. So now that it's a little bit dry, I'm just gonna keep on repeating the steps until I got like a bunch on there where I'm able to cut it. You know what? Now, also a warning, once the latex starts to dry, you're not going to be able to move your face. It's going to get really stiff, <laughs> and you won't be able to move your face. Last year was really hard for me because this whole half of my, whole, whole half of my face was um, with latex, so I couldn't really move one side and it was hard to talk. 
and I work where I have to answer phones sometimes. So that was a challenge. But it all worked out. It's starting to stiffen up, guys. Once it's stiff, it gets like rubbery. I don't know if you can see it. But I'm adding a bunch of layers because you want to get a lot of layers and then once it's all dry you're going to cut so you don't want to have a thin layer and then look messy so you make sure it's nice and layered okay so now that it's dry I can't really move this side of my face but I actually have another different latex which is flash color it's this one and that's like skin color. I kind of played around with it a little bit. So now that that's dry, I'm going to go ahead and put one last layer of latex and then I'm going to put a tissue and then another layer of latex. So because this is dry, the tissue is not going to stick to it anymore. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to use the flesh color one just because I want it to look a little bit more real. Although we are going to put makeup on it. but We're just going to go in and do one more everywhere just so we can stick the tissue on there see how it looks a little bit like yellowish not white it looks more like skin color now we go with our tissue and we're just going to cover it all up I also did for some parts, I grabbed the tissue and I just balled it up like this and put it on there. Um, that way it gives it a little more texture and it makes it look a little bit like swollen on the skin. So now that I put that last layer, I'm going to put one more layer of latex and then we should be good for the latex. Then we can move on to the fun part. Okay, so now that I think I got all of it, it's time to let it dry one more time. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now that it's all dry, it's nice and dry, we are going to, you have to try to blend it in. So you have, to, I'm going to have to put foundation all over this. I actually have some from last year that my friend's mom gave me because I know nothing about foundation. You just want to make it look like it's your skin as much as possible. So I'm probably going to have to put foundation all over my whole face so it looks like it's my face. And if I'm talking a little weird guys, because I can't move half of my lips. So yeah. Like all in there. You see how it's a little darker? Then my color, we're going to try to blend it all in. I'm not good at this. Okay. Thing. So now that we have this covered up with, for, for the most part, it's covered up with foundation. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to try to get the cut so it looks like your skin is coming off. So with scissors, very carefully, you're going to go in and cut right in the middle. So I'm going to focus, I'm going to look down because I have the mirror down here, so I won't cut myself. Very carefully. So now that we cut, you see how you cut and it looks like your skin is coming off? See 
some of the latex down here is still a little wet. You see how it looks? Kind of cool. We're going to start doing the little makeup in here. So, with a brush, you are going to grab your black. And I don't know what brush, I'm just going to use a random brush. So you go in, and you start doing the, your skin black. It's going to give it like the bruise effect. We're going to go in with our purple. You know, it bruises our purple. Just blend it in there. You just want to make sure all over your skin is covered. And then Grab your red to make it look like the bloody effect. With another brush. This one put a lot. Because it's blood. So we're just gonna go in and put it all over our skin. Making it look bruised and cut. See, now that I put red all over this, we're gonna go in with some black too and purple for bruising. The red is everywhere. Now let's go on with the black. Just a little bit, not a lot, because you don't want it to look too dark. You do want it to look rotten though. So you see, and now we go in with a little purple. The purple will bring it all together and it looks like it doesn't make a difference but trust me. So you guys know it looks like, let me zoom you guys in a little more. Looks like my skin is like rottening, purple. It's gonna look cool when we add the blood. So now we just have to add blood and I have scabby blood. Actually, before we do the blood, I actually bought this like setting powder thing. It's supposed to make your face look even more rotten. So right now we're going to set our face. Brush the excess off. Okay, now for the final part is the blood. We're gonna go ahead and use the same brush that we used to add the red to use the, add the blood. Adding in the blood. Don't be shy with the blood, cause the blood 
chocolate that makes everything look so real. And now just to be a little more dramatic, we're going to give me a black eye. We're going to go in with the black. Give me a black eye. And there you have it, guys. The finished look. I'm telling you, latex is not hard to use. How does it look, guys? Realistic or no? So yeah, that is it, and all we used was the scabbing blood, a red face paint color, a black face paint color, a purple, um, latex, and tissue. That's all we really need for this video. It's really easy, it's very, it is time consuming, so be patient, um, but it looks awesome. And I'm telling you guys, it's not hard to use, not at all. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell to get notified every time I make a new video, um, and stay tuned for my other Halloween look I'm going to be doing on Saturday. There you go. Alright guys, I'll see you guys later.